Well, good morning. Another wonderful, great opportunity we have today to hear the Word of God. See, the Word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. The Word of God consistently and continuously guides us and gives us directions on what to do. This day, I would like to thank you for being able to join me in the daily dose. And I'd like to encourage you, share it with somebody else. Let somebody else also know that they can be encouraged and be led by God through His Word. So today I'd like to encourage you from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 1 and verses 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verses 18. And it says this, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So here Paul was telling us that actually the cross has got a message. Because he says that the, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. So in other words, Paul is identifying there are two groups of people. There are those who are perishing and then there are those who are being saved. And those who are perishing are being, uh, they are perishing because they do not understand the message of the cross. But those who are being saved, they are understanding the message of the cross. So therefore, today we like to see the importance of this message of the cross. What is the message of the cross? The message of the cross is the word of the cross. The cross has got a message. And what is that message? The message of the cross is Jesus went to the cross. He shed his blood for you. He died and gave his life for you so that you can live. Now, if someone is perishing or someone is being destroyed, it's because they do not understand the purpose of Jesus going to the cross and giving his life and shedding his blood for them. But if you understand why Jesus went to the cross and gave his life for you and shed his blood, then you are being saved. Now you've got to understand that by him shedding his blood, he has already redeemed us from the, powers of, the, uh, for the power of sin. Because being crucified on the cross and shedding his blood means that he has died to sin. Now Jesus wasn't a sinner, but he died for our sins. And therefore, him going to the cross and shedding his blood means he paid for the penalty of sin, for the penalty of sin is death. And therefore, he had to die a sinful death, even though he was not a sinner, so that I can live. So when I understand that Jesus did that, then to me, I'm being saved because now the message of the cross becomes powerful to me. In other words, now I understand I do not need to die because there is someone who died on my behalf, and that is Jesus Christ who shed his blood and the shedding of his blood redeemed me or purchased me from the powers of sin and therefore when he gave his life now he has empowered me now to live the life that he once lived on earth and so today I'd like to encourage you that we need to be those who are being saved by the message of the cross because the message of the cross is the power of God and the power of God is able to help us or empower us to live now the life which we are living today and not the life of sin and Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. Which means now the word, the message of the cross is the word of God of what Jesus did for us. It is a message of redemption. We have been redeemed from the curse of the law. We have been redeemed from poverty. We have been redeemed from sickness. And we've been redeemed from spiritual death. And the moment we understand that, it becomes so powerful for us. It becomes an empowerment to us so that we do not live apart from the life of God, but it is empowering us to live the life of God. In other words, Jesus gave you his life and God empowered you to live the life of Jesus Christ. In other words, it's like you're being made to come and live in a castle as a king and then you're being empowered to live like a king. And therefore, God did that for us. And today I'd like to encourage you. May the message of the cross be, a man, be an empowerment for you to live as a child of God. And I pray that the eyes of your understanding will be opened so that you can see the truth of the word of what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross so that we may live. So you stay blessed and have a wonderful day.